Hello and welcome to my review of Battlefield Bad Company 2. First thing we're going to cover is cinematics. As you can see in the video, they look very nice, clear, sharp. Uh, very, very good animations, even in gameplay. Uh, nice scenery. Scenery looks exactly the same in the campaign maps as they do in the cinematics. Uh, maps are huge in campaign, like you can travel literally, literally around your enemies. Um, one thing I want to discuss is there is actual bullet drop in this game, so the farther you shoot, the more your bullet will fall. Unlike Modern Warfare, um, Fear, any of that type of games that have an automatic targeting, this one is actually has a uh, a bullet so just a heads up there sound is done very well too single player uh, the campaign it it starts off kinda slow uh, it has nothing whatsoever in, in my opinion, to do with the last Bad Company game, I, it sort of does, but there's there's no gold involved. Um, it starts off kind of slow, but it picks up about halfway through. There are 12 missions; they are very very long. They take like 10 to 40 minutes each, depending on how well you uh, explore the area. Um, Everything is destructible, from trash cans to building walls to doors. The knifing system, I want to say, is really crappy. It'll do the animation that you're knifing, but sometimes it won't register on an enemy. And you'll be doing, like, a little lunging poke knife move, and it won't do anything. Which which sucks. It, it does. Uh, you can drive vehicles. Um, even in multiplayer, you can drive vehicles from a four-wheeler to a tank, to a, a helicopter, to a jeep, to a, a boat. Um, aiming. Aiming is very nice. Uh, the hip fire is very good. Reloading animations, very clean, very crisp. Um, and you see that the gun actually does recoil some. Uh, bullets actually do fly straight. They won't go directly off to the left as soon as you shoot. Um, zooming in, it's nice and it flows very nicely. Uh, they do actually have airdrops, which drop supply crates, which you can choose your loadout. Uh, you can choose from assault rifles to shotguns to light machine guns to sniper rifles to rocket launchers to a pistol. You know, all in that range. Uh, their upgrades are like. 30 some odd collectibles, I think, and they're just upgraded weapons from scopes to more power, um, to different types of guns in general, and that can help you out along the way. Uh, I usually stick to an assault rifle, that way I get my grenade launcher and stuff. Um, second thing I want to cover, multiplayer. There are four classes, Assault, Recon, Medic, and Engineer. Uh, assault, you get grenade launchers from smoke to a 40mm shotgun to a 40mm grenade launcher to a supply kit. You can drop, refill your partner's ammo, your own ammo. So you're pretty much a soldier that has infinite ammo. Uh, you get to put red dot scope on your gun, uh, four times the scope. It, it pretty wide variety. All the maps are huge, and they have lush vegetation. As you can see here, the tank doesn't even see me. I'm just hiding in this bush. Um, again, the knifing system sucks, so most of the time you're going to be shooting your enemy because you're going to be pissed off at knifing, and you don't want to risk missing and going, Whoa! and the guy turning around and killing you. Um, there are ammo upgrades, like Magnum ammo, that does more bullet damage and the bullet will travel farther. Recon kit, your sniper, you get a spot scope attachment which can spot enemies for you and it'll let you know when you go over an enemy. Along with 12 times zoom, 
four times zoom, your regular scope, and a red dot sight scope. Uh, you get mortar strikes and C4, which can come in handy for bringing down a building or a tank. I usually run up to a tank, plant two C4, and run away and blow it up. It gets you a lot of points. Sniping is very well done. Um, engineer, you're using a submachine gun with a silencer, two rocket launchers, two anti-tank mines, two a repair tool, which can actually damage enemies. Recon, they get a motion sensor which can detect enemies, but you know, it's it's not all that helpful most of the time. You're going to be running around most of the time dying and trying to find your enemies. Uh, it's okay for doing objective games like Rush or Conquest and spying out enemies in advance. Uh, engineer, he, it's a lot funner to play. Medic, you're the healing bitch of your squad. You only get a squad of four members to talk to out of a team of like 12 to just your squad versus four other squads. You can drop these medic packs which give your team health. Uh, light machine guns, they are not good in full auto. Uh, very, very well done now in burst fire. Uh, you also get defibrillators for when an enemy dies. Or not an enemy, a, a teammate ki you know, dies from an enemy. You can pick them up and it won't use a ticket. Um, vehicles, like I said, you can drive anywhere from a four-wheeler to a jeep to a tank to a helicopter. Uh, some are transport, and some are Apaches, which uh, shoot some pretty badass missiles. Uh, you do get points even if uh, someone in your vehicle kills a person. As you can see here, houses in multiplayer are destructible. Uh, if you kill an enemy, you get destruction 2.0 points, which you know makes the the enemy feel like a dumbass for getting killed in the house. They're going, I'm coming down on you. But uh, very very fun. Uh, you can also go inside the. Uh, destroyed house and use it as cover or you can get on top of it and create yourself a new sniping point uh, for some reason the tank will move as fast as a jeep does don't uh don't ask me why uh, very well put together game though very equal hardly any glitching hardly any lag it's very well put together uh, judgment cinematics they are very clean very crisp Nicely displayed, 10 out of 10. Single player, slow at first, but halfway through it'll pick up and gets very addicting. 9.5 out of 10. Multiplayer, hardly any glitching, hardly any lag. There are boosters, but there are boosters in every game. Uh, 10 out of 10. Overall, 9 out, 9.5 out of 10. Uh, go pick it up today if you can. Uh, definitely a buy. Buy new if you can. Save yourself 20 bucks to get VIP maps.